Köpenicker Straße. This is where there is a house project called Köpi and the Köpi Wagenplatz, which is a place for trailers. It's a home for lots of people and today it's uh, getting evicted by the police and by an investor who was not really there when they were signing the contracts and it's a fake uh, signature he made to evict this place which is basically illegal but the city doesn't care they still evict this place since yesterday the police was around this area blocking the streets they have this so-called red zone and it's basically a military space where they can do whatever they want uh, only the people who live there can enter but no one else so we have to make our rallies around this red zone we cannot enter this place we cannot support the people who are in the Wagenplatz who need our support um, yeah they just block us from everything that is happening and they do what they want well Berlin had a very huge squatting movement in the 80s and 90s and this is what um, yeah makes Berlin so special um, and we need more alternative living spaces and free spaces for people where they can live uh, away from hierarchies and can yeah, express themselves and create spaces far from the state and uh, from the police. So yeah, these spaces are important and we have to face a lot of evictions in the last two years. There were bars, collective bars who have been evicted, there were self-organized youth centers who um, were not evicted but they had to leave their space because of gentrification. Uh, there was this Anarchia queer feminist house pr project, Liebig 34, they also got evicted just a year ago and now it's the Köpi Wagenplatz um, which is also facing the eviction today.